Hey there guys, this is Kawa. So for this episode um, of Sator Battlefield, I'm going to use I, Third Ride Kagi. And um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about him before Sator begins. So the thing is that he's a really heavy hitter with his mystery, but the issue that he just inherently has is that his mystery has like Oh, it doesn't have like, it definitely has a three turn cooldown. Yes, it's really heavy hitting, but, you know, three turn cooldowns are really ridiculously long amount of time to wait for it. Um, and it could be dodged, which just doesn't help at all. Um, but he does hit really hard, like Conan, because he has this, um, increase of damage for every bit of chakra you have and he has two really really strong chases um, one that chases twice and then one that chases just one time and does it immobile so I wanted to talk about this unit because this morning when I was just you know looking around apparently he's gonna get skill books in the Chinese servers and his skill books is going to alleviate the problem that he has that I mentioned earlier where his mystery has a three turn cooldown they're gonna change it so that uh, his mainly so that his uh, mystery can either interrupt or it could uh, uh, suppress super armor I personally think it's gonna be super armor suppression that you're gonna take because mainly Kakuzu is all over the place over there. So there's a chance that he might actually be able to beat Kakuzu. Because he can suppress Kakuzu's armor and then just wail on him. Uh, and then the other thing he has is that um, this chase, the Black Lightning. Uh, it, it will lower his cooldown each time he uses it by one. And it cannot miss. Which is really good. Because then he's almost guaranteed to chase twice and if every time he chases he's gonna lower the cooldown on his mystery which in turn means he'll just fire it off again the next round and he definitely will start killing people if he fires that thing off every single round and then I think the other change was uh, his Liger Bomb it was just that he could do it twice I don't think anything serious was there but it could miss I believe uh, so yeah that is the updates they have over on their side but we're relatively far from that so I'm just gonna talk about my team now uh, this team it's uh, relatively basic this looks like what you would do with a Daydara and uh, the Edo Daydara team but I'm using I instead because he is also a Edo Tensei unit um, I don't know do people remember that but Jinpachi helps all Edo Tensei people and I get to get away with using uh, Madara because I don't have any buffs here. Even my main's not taking a buff. She's just taking the chakra because, you know, the natural draining will give you chakra for I. And seeing that there's no reason to take any of the buffs, I took the chakra coordination so that whenever she generates chakra, she'll heal herself a little bit. It's nothing amazing, but it's better than taking a buff and then letting Madara just remove it. So you might as well just take something. So this chase uh, should work out perfectly. It should hurt a lot if I catch anyone out with it because I will do his full chase of three hits and we know he hurts already. And then Madara ignores defense, so that hurts too. Uh, slap on some poison and some nice ignites and I I would think that whoever gets hit by it is either gonna die or it's gonna go really low HP really fast. The Jinpachi is also very handy against people who like to dodge because you're allowed to just hold off on Ai's mystery, force to dodge with Jinpachi first and then fire Ai off to make sure he kills the target. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing here, obviously, is that you're win main, and I personally think there is no other mystery you would take on win main. Maybe except the uh, buff removal one, the dust blow. Then, but you would definitely always take like dance and impetus, and the dance is here to mitigate this issue I talked about in the beginning of uh, where I 
has a high cooldown. So if I fire off two of Ai's mysteries, he should easily cripple bare minimum two people. He or he'll just kill two people straight out because he's going to hit the back line usually with it. The move one will definitely not die. I don't think they'll die, even if I'm at full chakra. It'll probably hurt a lot though. So the other thing I really like about it is that he hits a straight line. And then the trick with using this type of mystery is you want to hit the front line guy so that he flies back with repulse and then it's extra damage on top. So he hits the line of people causing damage with his mystery and the, the guy flying back will do repulse damage on top of that. And he also tags them which also reduces their defensive stats. So let's see how this goes. Um, I never tried this team out. Um, I was just excited to see that he was getting buffs in uh, the Chinese servers and I think he might be able to beat the Kakuzu meta. Uh, don't quote me on that, I just think it's possible because he has the tools but you do have to survive Kakuzu's onslaught at the very beginning because he hits so hard and your backline usually just melts in the face of him. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, if he does, then you heard it here first. Alright, so I will be back when uh, Sage Roll starts. Alright, let's find someone to attack. Uh... Okay, this line of people should just die instantly. Actually, no. Shiso is not gonna get hit. Um, well, these other guys are gonna die instantly. K crit. Not bad, not bad. Granted though I'm hitting someone relatively weaker than me, so uh yeah. <laughs> but I was in a full chakra though, so I wonder how hard he hits was I'm full. This lineup I personally do not like on the grounds that this Minato is a move two instead of a move one. I understand that he wants the Han to go off. But you want the Minato's interrupt on round 2 more than you want the Hans thing on round 1, at least in my opinion. But, yeah, there's no, yeah, I, I don't see a reason why you would, you would put Minato as a move 2, because he's not interrupting anything there, and your move 2 can't be stacked. At least not at this level, he's like about 100k, I guess? Yeah. That's not something I would agree with. Like, anywhere with Minato is just like... Not your move 1, and the move 1 is just not a powerhouse damage dealer. There's no reason to put him there. Just put Minato on the move 1. Ooh. That was damaging. Oh, nope, can't attack that person. Okay. So this is a very generic, um... Uh, Daydar routine. I, I just 
blank completely for a second there. Don't know why. But yeah, this is a very generic team. Um, it's relatively strong. I don't like the... Well, I guess I don't like the L lineup because it helps against the Hiruzen teams. So, yeah, it's not bad. But to be able to use this team effectively, you have to make sure you your these guys will stick out. Uh, well, Kaysen dodges, so he's fine. Jim Pachi doesn't dodge, so he's really not safe just standing out there because he's relatively squishy up though. I like to, I personally prefer to hide him behind someone. But Yeah, that there, there was really nothing too bad about that lineup. I just didn't like the fact that Jim Pachi's in the middle and he's just standing there by himself. Because that's the one spot where most things will hit him. And he's really squishy. But it does insulate you a little bit against the Hiruzen, but if Hiruzen was blitzing you already, I don't think it really matters where exactly you were standing. So for this setup, it's pretty decent. Um, I don't like the Fu though, on the grounds that the Fu is a little before his time right now. If he had um, skill books, it would make more sense for him to be here. Because then he can chaos two people and remove the shields and buffs. Right now, he's not really contributing to anything. And this team kind of does lack in the damage department. Just Itachi doesn't hit that hard anymore. Yeah, like... It's not that he, he doesn't hit hard at all, he just... It's not hard enough, in my opinion. Even with a barrier, it's not that great. It's like, eh. Because it's a standard. He doesn't, have a, he doesn't have a damaging mystery that is just wrecking people. So, also for people who don't do this, um, if you reset your mystery and you're not afraid of anyone interrupting you, just queue it right away the prior round so that it lowers by one turn when you actually are able to use it. It saves you one turn on it and it doesn't hurt. Oh, it's a Naruto. Uh, does this team chase? Repulse, repulse to low. I don't understand what the bot right here is for. Is he here just the buff? I guess that's what he's here for? Because I see no other reason that Madara is here. Like, you're not doing much with the excess chakra. Because there's a three turn CD on Shisui's Koto Matsukami. Is he trying to hit my eye? So, tip here. Don't go for the eye because Shinpachi would have just removed any debuff you had threw on my eye. You should have just killed Jinpachi. So in this situation you obviously do not queue I because there's two dodgers and you're not gonna be able to fire that off.
but very interesting. What that Madara was for? He was really just here for a buff. It looked like. Also, people who hype Naruto's life steal, he doesn't heal much. That was 200 a hit. It's really not that much. Like my clone hits for 500 almost. Uh, so, in response to his statement, Jinpachi is not actually bad in position 4 because you're never supposed to actually use the mystery because round 1 you're going to seal it up and it doesn't matter when Jinpachi does his passive as long as I gets to attack again. So, even if Jinpachi was at move 3, it would make no difference. It actually makes more sense to keep him on move 4 because then you can get I to attack at the end of the round and hope after you gain chakra and stuff off uh, chasing. And then you also have to value your uh, mysteries. Uh, I value the dance impetus is higher than Jinpachi's multiple explosions. His explo because his explosion doesn't really do anything. You're just trying to speed up the double attack. But he does it no matter what, as long as he's alive. So you rather have dance go off faster, or you know avoid potential interrupts, than have I. I mean, not I um Jinpachi cast his explosion faster. So I'm gonna do. The, so I'm gonna show you what three pulse damage looks like when you hit like a clone. So this Naruto didn't get crit, or, and this clone didn't get crit either. But you saw how much damage it did when it flew back into that. Um, because he takes twice the amount of damage. He takes damage from the repulse, and then he takes the damage from the mystery itself. This is why when we first got Susan no Itachi, he looked like he was hitting ridiculously hard. It was because he was doing repulse damage to people with his uh, swing. Whoops, completely forgot to reset. <laughs> so this is another reason why you might not actually care what Jinpachi is, because you can always just dance impetus and then seal up again if you feel the need to. There are rare situations where you, you, you would need it. It's really rare, but it can occur where you need to reset and then seal up everything again. Maybe like, you know, they have like a move for heal or something. Uh, okay, 100% okay, let's see what happens. So like in this situation, because the healer is 3 and 4, if I, because I'm faster usually, if I, if I reset it, if I reset it and it's sealed up, these guys can't cast heals anymore. And then obviously the Jinpachi, then you know where Jinpachi yet again is doesn't matter, but where the dance is matters a lot. Okay, let me just poke this water main. So look at that new room. We're gonna watch how much he actually heals for. And it's not going to be amazing. It's not as amazing as everyone thinks it is. There was like a 1,000 here. He didn't even go back to full. I, I, I only took like about... I want to say a sixth of his life. And he didn't even go back to full when I had a full team here with clone. Like, his heal is not as amazing as everyone thinks it is. Hell, I healed just more with my uh, passive here. And I'm 
move three. And people might be like, oh, you know, Kawa, you're stronger than, um, um, but you're comparing a move one Naruto to my move three wind main healing off her crappy, um, passive where she heals when she generates chakra. Just want to point that out. His heal is really not. Ooh, who is this? Goken. So, Goken is 250k almost. And we're going to. See how this goes. So we're just gonna carefully watch. So I heal about 400 each time. We take him to about... I'll say a third. No, it's about half now. He's at half life now. Okay, a little less than half now. Let's see how much he heals, because I obviously can't stop him. And I have no intentions of stopping him. Okay, he's a half-life. I have uh, two clones this time. Boom. Okay. So, he went from about 2,000 back to 25. Does that seem amazing to people? Because I'm not amazed by that. I think you can gain more than that with uh, Ampu Special Tactics. Okay, sure. He just gained a little more. He's back at about a... Th he lost like about a third of his life. Oh, so he couldn't trigger it, and uh, Naruto just died. So, this is Goken at 250k, and his Naruto does not heal much. Healing 5k with a, a mystery, and then I guess he healed like about another roughly 5k of a standard. I, I'm just not impressed by it. So this setup is not bad. I actually like this setup, but the chase looks a little weird. Um, well, I, I couldn't, I didn't even get to see it, but I think it looks a little weird. But the setup is fine. He has two dodgers here and one tank here, and hiding the main behind the. Uh, uh, Minato. It's very good, but sadly I'm just overpowering him. But the setup is very solid. I, I approve of this setup. Because you get the nice interrupt on the move 1. And 
you have Naruto here who can help out it when you get some chakra. The only issue, obviously, I see with it is that you can't generate the chakra on uh, round two. But there are times like you know maybe Yuminato could not get his reset, then you know Naruto can step in and assist. I think it's relatively decent, but um, I'm just not sure about how the chase looks. Okay, so I'm just gonna say it out and right. I don't understand this like why Minato here is move three. Because he just took lightning armor on round one. So it means that you're trying to do Shisui on round two, but you have no chakra again, which also means that you can't use Minato on round two. So I don't understand what the setup here is for. I would rather have Minato here as the move too. As always, you rather have Minato because he has to interrupt that damage you're looking for. Shisui really is more of a support than anything. He feels look at it. He's move three. I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna reset. And then I'm just gonna close up the field so he can't do anything. So that's one of those weird, rare occasions where that scenario can come up. Except, you know, outside of the healers. So this team is actually killing a little faster than I thought it would. Uh. I still have three minutes, I probably can get two more fights in. I guess it does help that I just like eat like about two people at a time with his mystery. And his standard plus chase right now is just ripping people apart. But some of these people are are relatively a lot weaker than me, so it makes sense why he's ripping them apart with just standards. But when he starts chasing, these are relatively hard hitting chases. Look so at that, 3,000, 3,000. And then, you know, you can't ever discount Madara's chase because that team just ignores armor. If there was a clone in front of this Minato, <laughs> I could hit the clone, force his dodge with the mystery, but then the clone's repulse would have killed him. But hey, there was no clone in front of him. That's why you have to be really careful sometimes with clone placement, because it can get you killed for no reason. Um, I don't understand this setup yet again. Why is everyone putting their Han as move one? Like, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to even the battlefield by reducing your damage using Han. But you can do just as well with a Han on move two instead of putting him on move one. Because you want that Daydara to be on your move one so he can fire off a C3. Oh, so I couldn't get that last fight in. Alright, uh, should we second? Yep, second. Chushin Hino. So overall, I I like the team. It's pretty good. Um, 
I'll just show it one more time for those people who are interested in it. So, you don't even need the King of Hell, it's whatever. This could be any summon, uh, there's nothing that could contribute further to the chase, so you probably just want the high combo. And as I said earlier, you just take this because there's nothing else better to take. And yeah, this is the I third right Kage team. Um, I really, really think he could be really good in the Chinese servers now that he has skill books, which fixes that one problem where he has a long cooldown on his mystery. And if it does, then you heard it here. Alright, and I'll see you guys in the next video.